they do it four percent a year. new uh, purchases, and then if there's Prop 8 reductions, I, I think most of the Prop 8 reductions are back up. Most are back. I don't have any issue with the assessed value. I'm trying to calculate. I mean, because on all our different bonds, we've had different waivers from the state for 2% or 3% or 3.5 mm -hmm. or 5 and how to take what's authorized and say, okay, well, do we have room to issue, not not, not, a, not an election here, but like we've got mm -hmm. 500 left we can issue, right. can we issue that, or are we up against assessed valuation limits right now, so we can't We did issue. get that um, slide from but, a and uh, they didn't, did yeah, they from say from how they calculated, they just say, the well, they have the current assessed value, and they have what the past growth has been, and then yes. they, they did use a 4% escalator. Right. I'm, I'm fine on that. Yeah. But the precise calculation of what's the maximum amount of bonds we can issue in the next five years, and here's the calculation yeah, of and they do. how we did it. But they, um, isn't that, didn't they have yeah, they did. It's, in, it's on the training video. We were up, we were up against them, and that's why they wanted to raise it. Well, see, that's why I'm, right. I'm, trying, then, I'm trying to reproduce that calculation. Yeah. Miserable. And every August, September, whenever the assessor comes out with what the valuations are, you can kind of check it for that year to see if it's accurate. So okay. if, for instance... Um, I have not looked at the training video yet. I will go oh, look okay. At it. Yeah, it's a really good, okay. really good information. Um, but we'll be able to sort of fact check it every August or September, whenever the assessor, um, okay, well, you know, comes out with that. Process, yeah. Okay with that. Yeah. Any other questions regarding cash flow? Um, the reason I have this, how will cash flow be affected by the time of the projected sales? That was part of Dennis Clay's uh, documentation. Yeah, but the answer is yes. <laughs> well, then we can change that question to be relevant. To Exactly the reason why we have the waiver. Yeah, they, 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 they right. kind of dropped, came in and, well, what, 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 oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> what, why are we meeting here? <laughs> and it was their attempt to sat, you know, check that box, yeah. say in a presentation was made to the CDOC. And that is the reason why, you know, that we've got a lot of uh, bonds that have been authorized. And we not can't, issued. We can't issue them, yep. we can't issue them through 2036 because of that various reason, right? Yep. And 2045. Cash flow, Tom. Think, if you yeah. would, if you can examine that information, yeah. if you have to come up with a question, then we can I'll answer. Come back to the okay. Yes. So let's go to Primavera. Why haven't 